one, Zach Wright, Grapevine founder and CEO, back at it with another feature highlight. Today, we're going to be talking about our employee profiles and directories. We're going to tap into the importance of having connected employees. We're going to talk about the benefits of our profiles and directories and the approach that we take here at Grapevine compared to the traditional, in our opinion, boring and useless profiles and directories. And then we are going to actually dive into a screen share of our product showing you what we've been talking about. So as we like to do with our feature highlights, before diving in, we like to talk about the importance of why we created this feature. And this feature is about connection. So we're gonna be talking about the importance of promoting employee connection in your organization through these two statistics. Let's go ahead and look at them. 94% of all employees agree they're more productive when they feel connected to colleagues. And that is especially important as we become more flexible and as some organizations choose to go 100% remote. But this statistic is even more important when we look at the next one. 96% of connected employees are satisfied with their current roles versus 60% of disconnected employees. And we know that satisfied employees are more productive, engaged, and they stay at the company longer. So when you don't have a highly connected organization, you're really putting productivity and costly errors on the line here. But beyond the statistics, let's talk about why directories and profiles are important, at least in the way that we approach it here at Grapevine. You can easily search and find employees in your organization, and we'll tap into how we actually take it a little bit further than that with our platform. You can leverage employee skills and experience. And with ours, you can actually tap into past and present experience and skills. And we'll show you that when we screen share. Better understand your coworkers professionally and personally. That's where our profiles come into play. We have a side of it, which is professional experience, skills, so on and so forth. But then we have another aspect of it where you can show a little bit of yourself and your life only if you want to. And then overall, these are important in the way that we approach it here at Grapevine because it improves workplace communication and collaboration, which we know are key important elements whenever it comes to productivity. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna go through the typical employee directory and profile experience versus entering into the future of work with Grapevine's virtual office platform. So the traditional employee directories and profiles, they're boring, they're typically in your org chart fashion, and they're hidden in a tool that no one really uses, at least from our experience. And when you do find that employee, you have to go outside of the tool to interact with the employee or the coworker. Additionally, you can really only search based off a title, name, and maybe department. It doesn't tell you anything about that person or why they might be popping up on a question that you're asking. And then employee profiles typically show their email, and then some other basic details that are kind of irrelevant for what you really want to know. So it doesn't really sound that valuable. And that's where we wanted to improve this experience for you, your remote organization or your flexible hybrid organization. So what's the difference? Our directory lives directly in the app and we have status symbols so you can see if the person that you're searching for is active or are they non-active? Are they in, are they working or are they out of office? 
You can find employees and directly chat, email, or schedule an instant meeting. Think about a huddle, so to speak. This is where we differentiate as well. You can search based off of skills, hobbies, titles, name, experience, past, and present. And then as we've already mentioned, our employee profiles share personal and professional details. These are missed opportunities in a lot of organizations where we don't know the person outside of the actual job description or title that they were hired for. And that's not good for a lot of different things. If you only know the person based off of their current experience, then you can't tap into their previous experience or skills or tools that they used in the past. And that's a missed opportunity. The example that I like to give is, let's say that you're about to interact and do a demo for a company that one of your colleagues has worked for in the past. If you go in there without actually connecting with that coworker who used to work there, you're going to go in there with a lot of assumptions, right? But if you could tap into that person and better understand the organization before going in there, or if they had a really good relationship, bring them into the meeting. Now you already have the commonality and the relationship, and it makes that sales deal move faster and close quicker. Think about the opportunities there. But beyond that, think about the personal relationship that they can build with one another, connecting on different levels and extending that, breaking down silos, increasing transparency, and overall being more connected as an organization, no matter whether they're in the office or working 100% remote. But are you tired of hearing me talk about this without showing you? We're on the same page. So let's go ahead and dive into Grapevine and show you the employee directory and employee profile. All right, we have entered the grapevine. Can you feel the good energy? Okay, a little corny. But I wanted to start here. This is the company social internet homepage. I wanted to start here because I wanted to show you how to navigate to your employee profile. Now, just like any other social media platform, you would be able to click on someone's name. It will take you to their profile. But if you're looking to navigate to your own profile, you would go up here, you can either click on your name or edit profile. We're gonna go ahead and click on the name. And if you look at this, you can see similar elements of a Facebook mixed with a LinkedIn profile. So let's go ahead and navigate through this so you can get the ins and outs. You have your banner here, so you can simply upload that from your desktop, add it here. If your marketing team wants to create a unified version, then you could do that or you can customize it yourself and show a little bit more of your personality. Now, the other part is you're going to enter your name, your headline, your description. You're going to have a couple other uh, bits of pieces of information so people can understand who you are. Don't worry about the date of birth. It does not show up on the uh, actual profile. So nobody will see that except for you. And that's good for whenever we have uh, birthdays come up so people can celebrate you. Speaking of, it's my birthday, May 2nd. That's when we're recording this. But let's go ahead and continue. Now, the next part is my profile introduction video. This is a great way to get people who are just onboarding and new to your organization, especially if they're remote, to understand who you are as a person, who they're new coworkers are, it's a way to proactively initiate relationship building within your organization. Because the quicker that you can get a new employee to feel like they belong to your culture and your company, the more likely they're gonna, they are going to be to stay longer. But let's continue to navigate the profile here. So the way that I look at this is on the left side, we have the professional side of your employee profile. On the right side, we have your personal side. 
So they get to tap into your hobbies or who you are outside of work. So this is me and my beautiful wife. You can explore. We got a, a golden doodle here. Zola is actually Grapevine's mascot. I had to get her in here somehow. This is an image from our rehearsal dinner. So just think about that. Somebody sees this, they might want to reach out to me in Figgy Chat and say, hey, Zach, I just saw that profile image on your profile. You got to tell me the story, right? So it's connecting people beyond just the work. And I think that that is a great thing because now you feel like you're part of a community. You feel connected. You're going to be more engaged that way. And then we have the personal or the professional information over here. And it's very simple. You have your job type. So on, on site, remote, hybrid. These are also going to be reported in our employee or company engagement page. You have your department. Which department do you work in? And then you have who you report to. But then you also have your skills. And it's just simple as adding the words, clicking enter, and then you save. But these also become searchable as well as your hobbies, right? Think about having the hobby of hiking and then you create a group and you start chatting about hiking. And then the next time that you're in their neighborhood or their state, you get to reach out to them and say, hey, Cedra, I'm going to be in XYZ place. I know that you like hiking. It would be great to connect and go on a hike together. You know, you bring your husband, I'll bring my wife, and we'll bring our dog. And, you know, you get to connect outside of it. Now, the other part is whenever you start using Grapevine, you'll start to have access to people that you work with the most just for easy access, right? Just a little something there to add. Now, I did talk about the experience part here. Most people... Whenever they get hired, they only look at that employee for what they were hired for. So if you're a marketing specialist, people are only going to talk to you about marketing specialist topics, right? But let's say that, okay, I'm the founder of Grapevine now, but I used to be strategy staff executive at Kumu Corporation. Kumu Corporation is an enterprise video solution. And maybe we're about to talk to them during a sales prospecting call. Let me tap into Zach's experience and see what he knows about it or if he wants to be on the call, right? We've already gave that use case, but I just want to add it here. But then you also have the skills. So at Kumu, I leverage Salesforce, Demandbase, Lattice, Greenhouse. Maybe we're about to adopt a tool like that or we're doing the ex exploration piece. Maybe I reach out to Zach and get his take on it. Is this a good tool? Should we bring it in? Yes or no? It, it just gives me a better way to tap into the full extent of people's experience, knowledge, and skills to help us make better business decisions, to help us make uh, more intertwined connections that are real, not just personal, but also, uh, I mean, not just professional, but also personal. And then just down here at the bottom, you can select your language. And then you can also select what type of notifications you want to receive. Desktop, email, portal, which is great mine, or all the above or none or just portal. You get to decide. Now, that is the employee profile. Let's go ahead and navigate to the employee directory. And I'm just going to pop this out so you know that you have this option too. So you can pop this out if you forget what the icons are. but the employee directory are going to be these group of people. Now, this is our staging account, so there might be some issues here, but I just want to show you. So I know that Cedra, so if I go to her profile real quick, I know that she has project manager in her skills. So let's go project manager. So you can see that she's, she's populating there. And then I know that I have hiking in mine helps if you spell the word correctly, but I know that I have hiking in mind. So that's going to populate there. So I just wanted to show you how you can search and find people there. Now, the other part is here. So let me go ahead and move myself out of the way of figgy chat. Let's say that I wanted to send Steve Jobs a message. So I click on there. I'm going to click here. 
That's because I don't have a message with him right now. So that's why that did there. But let's say that I want to go ahead and quickly pick up where we left off whenever speaking to Cedra. So testing for a demo. And then we'll go ahead and just send that just so you can see. There it is. But then let's say that you want to send an email. If I click here, I'm not going to do it because it will take the screen away, but it will pop up the email. And then if I wanted to have a quick huddle with Cedra or Carrie or Steve, I would just click this button. I'll try it. It might take me to another tab, but uh, if it doesn't pick up on the camera, just know that this is going to take me to a Google Meet and we can automatically see that. And what will happen is you will receive the email. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. But you'll receive the email that I'm asking you to participate in a meeting. Or, and it will also pop up here too saying, hey, I am inviting you to a meeting with the link. So it's just an easy way to connect with people in a faster manner. And that's it. That is our feature highlight for today, our employee profiles and directory. You can see that we are taking the approach very differently, more interactive, more social, more personal, mixed with professional. This is going to be a game changer for your organization and how you connect to one another. If you are interested in seeing a full demo directly targeted to your company in its own brand format, definitely feel free to reach out to us or go to our website, schedule a demo or get started for free for 30 days. Thanks so much for watching.